Before COVID, Kira was social, outgoing, and above all, fearless. Kira's biggest passion was her competitive cheerleading. She started when she was five years old and practiced six days a week for hours each day. Something shifted in her once COVID happened. She was paralyzed by fear and couldn't do it anymore. Something in me just sort of changed. When Kira would try to tumble, she would have panic attacks. Whenever I see the floor, like my heart starts to beat really fast and then I have trouble breathing. The COVID pandemic turned my daughter's life upside down. I noticed her happiness was gone, which was replaced by anger and a short temper. My anger now is really bad. I get mad over the, the smallest things. I can't control it for some reason. I just snap for no reason. My anger starts to build up and it explodes after I reach my limit. You're just mean. I will threaten to break things. I will start yelling, screaming, calling people names. I don't recognize the person I become. She slams doors. She snapped at me and my mom. She snapped at her sister. I want to be able to control it better. When she yells, when she's mad, she'll tell you to shut up, leave me alone, don't touch me, it's your fault. Kira has also written all over her walls and furniture. I have a little fear that it's not gonna change. My worst fear is that she's going down the wrong path. It breaks my heart to see her going through all this pain. I've watched that tape of you going down that mat about 10 times. I don't know how you do that. I'd break my neck the first time. And you've been doing it since you were five. Yeah. And that came to an abrupt halt, right, when they shut everything down? Yeah. I was at home like 24-7, and I barely, pro I barely even practiced because we didn't have any mats or trampolines at our house at the time. And then when the gyms did open back up and I was able to go back, I just stopped tumbling. Why? Just something changed in me that made it less fun. Dr. Borby, when, when you have a child that's nine, 10 years old, and they have devoted so much of who they are yeah. to one thing, mm -hmm. and then that is snapped away from them. What's the impact? Emptiness. And we're seeing so many kids with the same thing. What we've got to do is make sure that there's other avenues for our kids to be able to build them up. This has just been a devastating two years. We've got to figure out how to also do one other thing, control that stress so it doesn't build to the point. Because right now you're just in a hypervigilant state of worrying so much about the stress, you're forgetting to see who you are. Mm -hmm. And you say that it has really kind of rolled up and manifested into one thing, and that's anger. Yeah. Before, she was very happy-go-lucky. She was very easygoing. Um, her glass was always half full. And now any little thing, she snaps very, very quickly. Look, when we're under stress, and particularly when you see anger, it's almost always just an outward manifestation of one of three things, either hurt, mm -hmm. fear, or frustration. Mm -hmm. And I'm gonna try and find out which or all three of those are going on. Do you have a story or a question for me? Click the link in the description and tell me what in the world is going on.